That's ridiculous. That is totally ridiculous. With an attorney by his side, at 68 years old, Detective Louis Scarcella repeatedly said in Brooklyn Supreme Court he couldn't remember every detail from an investigation two decades ago. Do you remember the Trevor Vieira homicide? No, I don't remember. Nelson Cruz has so far served 21 years in jail for the homicide. His lawyers allege the real killer told Scarcella Cruz did it, and they claim Scarcella used a witness, Andre Bellinger, who didn't even see the crime. Did you ever tell Andre Bellinger that Nelson Cruz committed this crime? Never. In court, Derek Hamilton, one of eight people whose murder convictions have been overturned, a judge determined he was coerced by Scarcella into confession. All of us stand here, uh, victim of Scarcella. We know he's lying. Welcome to Talk Lytical TV. I'm your host, Lytical J, and I'm back with another logical perspective. Lewis and Scarcella, a retired detective from the NYPD. Scarcella grew up in Coney Island during the 1950s and 1960s. His father was a B cop, and he later became a cop and detective in the homicide unit. He initially came to prominence during the crack epidemic of the 1980s and 1990s, earning frequent commendations before many of his investigations were overturned in the two, 2010s. As a member of the Brooklyn North Homicide Squad, he and his longtime partner Stephen Shamil built a reputation for obtaining convictions in difficult cases. Since 2013, Scarcella has received extensive and sustained publicity for multiple allegations of investigative misconduct that resulted in false testimony against crime suspects, meaning that innocent parties could be serving long prison terms and guilty individuals could be going free because of wrongful procedures. Scarcella's, Scarcella's investigative tactics have came into question after 15 people he helped convicted were exonerated. So here we have it, case after case after case. This, is, this isn't a coincidence. This all started back in 2013 and damn nearly a decade later, year after year, case after case, just wow. Like just to name a few, we have David Aranta, um, conviction overturned or they started to investigate um, you know overturning his conviction in 2013 we have James Jenkson then we have Sean Williams who was paid 10.5 million in federal civil suits and then in 2022 we have Samuel baby Sam Edmondson this detective is a common denominator in all these cases that ended up with the same outcome, possibly wrong, wrongful convictions. Now, I'm not saying every single alleged individual is in fact innocent, but based on the facts and patterns, this detective is crooked all the way. And the fact that there was 14 cases in question before all of this came to light publicly with the first person being David Ranta in 2013, big question like my biggest question is how many others are there trapped within the system when there are innocent due to unscrupulous detective practices jump down in my comments let me know how you feel about this one like this detective needs to be charged for every individual after they investigate it and get deep within um the meat and potatoes of what those investigations went through back when he was on those cases for every single person that was wrongfully convicted he should get time for it and go sit down and let him see how it feels you cannot go around coercing witnesses to say things that you want them to say and of course a lot of those people that were coerced to say certain things were benefited based on if they had um charges themselves or um cases themselves that they didn't want to go do time for so you have this detective using those types of leverages. I mean, this is nothing new. This has been going on for ages. It's going on now currently in our days and ages. So it's nothing new, but of course you get somebody in a particular situation where it's like, oh, I gotta go sit down, but I could easily well just say, you know, I saw this person doing this and I saw this person doing that when I did it just to get some time off. Yeah, they're going to go with it. But, you know, t 
time, growth, and just knowing within yourself that you did something like that and now another man is sitting for all these years because of you and this scrupulous detective. Yeah, then now you want to come back and say it years later after you got what you got, you didn't have to sit nowhere. But again, all of this falls back on this crooked ass detective. Jump down and let me know how you feel about this one. That concluded the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Bye.